Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, continuing the series SNCF 310. Uh, today it will be a very short uh, video, it will be about IPS tuning. We explained several videos before, maybe three videos, about the IPS and what is IPS and how we apply it. And after that we explained about network, network discovery and we mentioned that network discovery is helping the IPS for the tuning. Tuning like how the suggestion, the right suggestion to be as per your network uh, for the firepower, what to enable and what to disable. So uh, let's go to the FMC. Here if we go to the uh, IP, okay, let me go to the access control. In the access control, in all traffic that I have, I enabled IPS between inside to outside and everything to see what will be happening here. And uh, we configured from the previous uh, video the network discovery. So let's go to the intrusion and let's see inside our policy. I think it was the name of Miari IPS policy, yes. So inside it. And sling USB uh, policies up to date on all two devices. Okay, let's see. Great, so this policy is balanced security and connectivity. Uh, how this recommendation might help uh, this one or might it tune the IPS? You remember in the balanced security and connectivity, it has 8,484 rules drop and generate events and 472 rules generate events only. So what if this network discovery is doing now, discovery and scanning for our network? And he figured out that there are some rules uh, from the sleeping rules only events or disabled can uh, be a threat in our uh, environment. So it will be like enable it. This is what firepower recommendation. So here we can go to firepower recommendation. Okay. It was by default it will be an enabled. It will be enabled here. Include difference between recommendation and rule states in policy report. Yes. Um, if we open the advance, here can be like telling you that firepower recommended rules configuration from none, low, medium, high. This is the severity. Of course, you can have low, medium, also high, whatever. It's in medium. Let's make it medium. And here generate uh, recommendation. Now, just let me go back and to comment the change here. Commit changing. Okay. Let's start an object and commit the changing. I think I need to deploy it also. Mm. Deploy. Let me see the flying here. So let me push the configuration on the firepower. That yes, I need the recommendation to be enabled. So let me finish this and I will come back to you. So now uh, it's completed. Let's go to policy again, intrusion. Okay. So keep the intrusion open by itself. Let me, for example, start uh, to 
do the exploit hack that I did it before uh, msf console and let's see because I applied the IPS and we saw that uh, uh, that uh, the IPS stop it so 17 it was 00, zero underscore it will blue okay and set our host to 192 the .10 .10. let's make it on 10 10 I applied the you can write uh, here exploit or run it will do both so here it will do the same it is trying to uh, compromise the system it will be stopped by IPS hopefully Okay, come on. Okay, we'll leave from socket. Okay, it's time out. It's fine. So, okay, it's time out. So let me go to see my email. Automatically, it sent me an email FMC. Here, you see. Windows Microsoft Windows SMP remote code execution because this is actually I configured to send me an email alert and did everything in the first videos when I was explaining the FMC management and then it sent me like yes it was having an attack and to stop great so let me go to here and uh, let me also Okay, great. So, firepower recommendation, generate recommendation and use, uh, generate and recommendation and use. Let's see what recommendation. Now, the firepower is trying actually to analyze and to compare it with the network discovery and to check the uh, signatures uh, it has. And what's important for uh, firepower that these like disabled or throwing events maybe uh, it can see by this analysis it will drop and uh, generate alert now we will see what are the result actually it depends on how firepower so and this will be like applicable for our environment so maybe if I run this in another environment so that environment is updated by all the patches and running and everything is in take so maybe the recommendation would be nothing so you have to understand this is would be like uh, vary from uh, environment to environment like storing recommendation great after that okay now success policy is now using the generator recommendation okay great try to read it firepower it changed 44,172 rule states for four hosts for host, the available that I have set 299 rules to drop and generate events these rules was not like that and set 43,808 rules to disable firepower so that they are legacy maybe they are no more using for that so it disabled 43,808 imagine imagine how it's optimized your system imagine how it's making guess your system is brilliant yeah this is what, what I need actually everything is enabled for me but this is the recommendation for firepower based on my local environment and if I enabled many devices, maybe Windows 10, Windows, I will generate again and it will do the recommendation for me because I need for recommendation. Great. Policy here, commit changes, anything. Okay. Okay. 
getting. Still, this policy is balanced. Balanced based on uh, b b between the connectivity and security. So, in the policy layers now, I will show it to you. The change that I made, the firepower will put it for me in a separate layer. And it will not touch the base intrusion policy that I choose. For example, here I have chosen uh, the balance connectivity and security. For example, if I put uh, security over connectivity, so it will not touch the security over connectivity. Okay, now fine, committed. Just let me, I think I need one more deploy. I will check it. Loading uh, firepower recommendation. And the IPS uh, uh, the, the IPS policy is slow and with recommendation it will be slow in opening but it's fine we need it actually it will help us our aim not to uh, just to throw several policies to slowness our connectivity no we need something secure and reli re reliable for our network very simple Great. So it's open now. If I go to policy layers, my changes here, I will click on the rules. It will list for me what the changes I did. If I go to firepower recommendation, this firepower recommendation, it was not in the layer here. It was only my changes and balance, the base security. Now it's add for me the firepower recommendation. So it will tell you what firepower change, what disabled for you and what enabled for you. And the base, the base policy, the balance security and connectivity, it will remain the same. I did not play with that because base is base. You want to change, this is your changes. Play as you want. But I will not change in the original policy, the balance security and connectivity. Great, right now, let me see in the deployment, if it's asking me for deployment now. Yes, it asked me. Maybe it wants to post the recommendation after taking the, the decision for that. So let me go to the intrusion again. Actually, I love this feature when it's like uh, uh, several options are working uh, together and it's giving you to achieve one thing. Now, if you hear, try to check the base policy. Uh, this policy has 367 enabled rules only. 68 rule generate events. 299 rules drop and generate events. Great. Firepower changed 44172, 44172 rules state for four hosts. Set 65 rules to generate events. Set 299 rules to drop and generate events. This is one. Okay. And uh, Set 43,808 rules to disable. Policy using this recommendation, click and change recommendation. If you want to change it, you don't want it, yes, of course, you can get it back. So now your balanced security, your, uh, sorry, your balanced, uh, the policy, the policy based, uh, balanced security and connectivity, now it became less and became more functional and lighter and is doing the uh, maximum what you want for your environment only maybe other environment no need for more and they have legacy softwares uh, they have opened too much ports uh, uh, everything like the firepower is can't and taken into consideration for the attack 
uh, I believe the still it's deploying. Yes, now it's succeed. Policy intrusion. Now the changes is committed and very nice. Yes, became for greens up to date. And this is the layer changes for the last time. Okay, policy layers, firepower recommendation, the rules. So these are the rules, disable, disable, disable. If I go to uh, rule configuration, rule state, a drop and generate events. Okay. Okay, so these are the rules is 299 as what he told me. And these are the rules is dropping and uh, sending events. If you want to see the rules, load this filter. If you want to see the rule, who can disable, disable is too much actually. 43,808. So this, the firepower disabled for you. And again, if you want to see who's generate events only, 65. This is only generated events. Perfect. I like it. It's very nice. I hope that uh, you understood right now uh, the IPS and the IPS tuning and how IPS is working with network discovery and how the firepower do its recommendation. Thank you very much. If you like it, please subscribe and share and wait for me with a new video. Thank you very much.